Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting, I would say like quick and great algebra challenge. We can easily see this question in the middle of the screen here. We have 4 plus 4 times 4 divided by 4 plus 4. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect. So if you could do this without a calculator, write your solution down into the comment section. Right here we have three options, option A, option B and option C. So choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer to this question and write your down into the comment section we will check our answers here in a few minutes so it will be really interesting because this is I would say like quick and basic algebra question but in the same way a lot of students make this common mistake so I really hope you get the point and I really hope you understand what is the correct solution to solve this question. So here's our question, 4 plus 4 times 4 divided by 4 and plus 4. And uh, if you consider it here, we can easily feel this addition sign, we can easily feel this multiplication sign, division and addition. And what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do this problem. Because do we do like addition first, do we do multiplication first, or maybe division first, or maybe this addition at first, like from right to left. Because obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer. For example, if we choose addition, maybe we can easily see 16 is a correct answer if we choose like multiplication maybe 8 is a correct answer maybe division first we have 12 and you know it turns into a big argument because just agree we can't solve this question with three different answers it's really weird uh, to solve this question and to write that the correct answer is 16 8 and and 12 with the three options it's really weird just agree with me we need to have one and only one correct answer to this to this question and if we do if we want to have like uh, one correct answer we need to know about a correct order of operation because then we can easily say about a correct a correct answer when we learn a little bit about order of operation and order of operation this is extremely important thing not only in terms of mass in terms of like any science because when you learn for example biology chemistry you need to know about a correct method correct principle correct algorithm and in terms of mass we need to know about a correct order of operation what i mean order of operation for example we have like addition we have subtraction, we have division, we have multiplication, we can easily have like parentheses, maybe sometimes inner parentheses, maybe sometimes you will have like power, so a to the power 5, something like that, and you know, in terms of mass, we need to order all of this stuff, so we need to say, okay, we need to do, we need to do like addition first, maybe subtraction first, maybe, maybe uh, division first, you know, and right now I'm going to show you the thing which is called order of operation which helps us to order all of this stuff because obviously we can't solve this question randomly we can solve like that for example oh i want for example to add it first okay let's add it first then i wanted to okay let's add right here and in the end i want to multiply and in the end i want to divide so it's really weird and it's really incorrect to solve this question absolutely randomly with with a like absolutely chaotic method i would say so right now a few words about order of operation so let's move forward to the next the next step so here is our order of operation this order of operation is called PEMDAS order of operation this is not like an English word this is like a quick checklist so each of these letters stands for something but few words about this PEMDAS because maybe a lot of students prefer this thing which is called which is called bottom mass order of operation some people use like bomb death something like that but to be honest the meaning is absolutely the same so each of these order of operation stands for the same thing we are talking about the same order of operation but with different letters so this bottom mass is mainly used in india and the uk this pandas mainly used in europe in canada in, in the usa so the meaning is absolutely the same so i'm going to use pandas but uh, you can easily use bottom mass or whatever like other order of operation so right now a few words about this PEMDAS order of operation. So this is like a quick checklist. So first of all, I'm going to start with this left side because elements on the left side had the higher priority than this one on the right side. So let's start with, with the left side. So the first thing is mm, letter P stands for parentheses. So it means that we need to find like parentheses at first, maybe these squiggly brackets, maybe these type of brackets. And right now, let's scan our question in terms of in terms of brackets. Let's scan where do we have parentheses. We don't have parentheses. Uh, you can easily see it. We, if we have parentheses right here, the next thing we're gonna add four plus four equal to eight. But in our case, we don't have parentheses, so we can easily skip this part. We don't have it, so we can easily skip this part. What about exponents? What about exponent? This is a basic power, so don't be confused. Don't be scared about it. For example, we have 3 to the power 5, 5 to the power 5. This is the basic thing. This is our 
our powers. And if we scan our equation in terms of powers, for example, and we don't have right here powers, we have all the time the first power, but we don't need to evaluate it because 4 to the power 1 equal to equal to 4. So we can easily mm, skip this part. We don't have we don't have any power. So we can easily skip it. But for example, if you have, for example, 4 cube, you, you need to raise this after parentheses part. You need to raise 4 cube, which is equal to, I guess, 64 or something like that. But uh, I don't mean uh, the thing right now because we don't have exponents. So we can easily skip this part. This is the basic thing at the power. So we need to find where do we have like squares, cubes. We don't have it. So we move move on to the next step. The next step after exponents, uh, as you can see right here, we don't have exponent. The next thing is multiplication. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. And why I say it at once? So I'm multiplication and division because this is one, one group. What I mean one group? It means that multiplication and division are tied for priority or importance. So I'm not talking about implicit multiplication. I'm not talking about multiplication by juxtaposition. I'm talking about the basic, the classic order of operation, which is called PEMDAS order of operation. So this is our multiplication division part. And what the, what the main thing? Multiplication division are tied for priority or importance. So if we have like two times two divided by four or something like that. Let's let's write four divided by two times two. So when we have like multiplication division mixture, so as you can see multiplication first, then division. And when we have division multiplication, so a little bit different thing. So as, as I said before, multiplication division had the same uh, priority or importance. So it means that we should scan what is the first sign from left to right. In this case, the first sign from left to right is multiplication. So we need to multiply two times two at first. As a result, right here we have 4 divided by 4, okay, equal to 1, but I don't mean the thing right now. I mean that uh, first thing is multiplication, and the next thing, 4 divided by 2 times 2. So it means the division comes first from left to right. So we have 4 mm, divided by 2 equal to 2, and as a result, we have 2 times uh, times 2 equal to 4. So as you can see, mm, th this is the main thing right now, because when you have a mixture of multiplication and division, you need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. So right now, don't forget about the question. We have it. I'm not forget about it. Um, don't forget about it. Right now, let's scan our question in terms of this uh, multiplication division. Where do we have multiplication division sign? We have multiplication sign right here. We're going to apply it to these both numbers, 4 and 4. And the next thing, we have division. So we have the next thing, the next thing, division. And right now, exactly our case. As I said before, we have multiplication division mixture or division multiplication mixture. Both cases are correct, but we need to find what do we have. We have multiplication division mixture, so we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. And in our case, the first sign from left to right, so we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right, basically. Yeah? And in our case, the first sign from left to right is this multiplication. So we need to multiply four times four at first. Let's do this. So right now, let me change my pen real quick for the blue one, and let's start. So four plus four times four. This is our first step. We can easily put imaginary brackets in our head. So let's do this because this is our first sign from left to right. We have only two. So let's start with this one. Four times four equal to 16. And we still have this division. Don't forget about it. And you need to underline it because we need to do this multiplication division part at first and plus plus four. Okay, so right now we need to complete this division part because we need to complete a multiplication division part before addition subtraction because A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction. So it means that we need to do all the thing, all this stuff with multiplication division signs and in the end addition and subtraction. So as a result, what do we have? 4 plus 16 divided by 4 equal to 4 and plus these four. Yeah, really great. So as you can see, we complete, we can easily say that we complete this multiplication part and we complete this division part. Yeah, we complete it in a strict order from left from left to right. And let's move on to the next step. The next step and our last step is A and S. It means that A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction. But I'm going to underline only addition because we have only addition sign right here. So we can easily cancel this uh, subtraction sign. We don't have it. We have only addition sign. And right now let's do this. Let's add it. So as a result, we have 4 plus 4 plus 4. At, uh, to be honest, at this point, 99% of students don't need disorder of operation because to be honest, at this point, at this part, we don't need disorder of operation anymore because we have basic addition. So we can easily add it like with our fingers. Uh, yes, yeah, so as a result, we have 4 plus 4 equal to 8 from left to right and plus 4 equal to 
equal to 12. And few words about this question. Yet yeah, 12 is a correct answer. 12 is a correct answer according to this PEMDAS order of operation. Few words about this PEMDAS, because this PEMDAS, as I said before, goes from left to right. So it means that we need to scan step by step what do we have from our left side. And do we have it at all in our question? Because as you can see, we didn't have parentheses, we didn't have exponent. We had multiplication sign, we completed with division. This is one mixture. So for example, if we had four divided by four times two, so we need to perform division first, okay? Because division comes first from left uh, from left to right. And in our case, this is our order, multiplication first right here, a division second. And the third thing is addition from left uh, from left to right. This is our order of operation. And few tricks, few hints to this question, because if you know a little bit about algebra, just look at this question. I'm going to rewrite it. So four plus four times four divided by four and plus four. So here's our question. And you know, if you know a little bit about algebra, uh, the first thing you need to know that division multiplication is all the time before addition, subtraction, addition and addition and subtraction. This is extremely important part, so don't forget about it. Multiplication, uh, division first, then addition, subtraction, addition, subtraction second. But if you look closely at this expression in the middle, so just look at it, what do we have right here? We have 4 times 4 divided by 4. So this multiplication by 4 and division by 4, honest, to be honest, to be frank, it changed nothing, okay? Because we multiply it by 4 and we divide it by 4. Yes, we can easily cancel it. And this is the same thing, for example, we can make like a parallel like a, a variety to this question with addition and subtraction so for example we have plus 2 and minus 2 it change nothing because we add 2 and we subtract 2 and the same thing right here in the middle because multiplication by 4 and division by 4 change nothing so for example we have we can easily mm, let's do this let's write this quick example for example we have like 100 and we divide it by 2 and we multiply it by 2. Yeah, what do we have right here? We can easily do this according to our PEMDAS order of operation. As a result, we have division first from left to right. So we have 100 divided by 2 equal to 50 and 50 times these two, don't forget about it, equal to 100. So we can easily do this according to PEMDAS. But to be honest, 100 divided by 2 and multiplied by 2, it changed nothing. So we can easily cancel this division by 2 and multiplication by 2. So as a result, we have only, only our 100. We can, we can easily prove it like that. So this is extremely important. Important. But if you know a little bit about algebra, you can easily solve this question real quick. You can easily cancel this multiplication by 4 and division by 4. And as a result, we have 4, 4, and 4 equal to equal to 12. So let's right now let's find our answer. So as a result, uh, 12 is the correct answer. Let's find it right here in the in the beginning. Yeah, we have this answer. This is our this is our 12. But in the same way, a lot of students might be thinking maybe 16 is a correct answer, and maybe 8 is a correct answer. They try to solve this question absolutely randomly. They try to think, okay, maybe maybe uh, let's add it first. And you know, it turns into a big argument. Forget about this, about this order for about this uh, different order of operation. We need to know a little bit about PEMDAS order of operation. We need to order all of this stuff. And after this, okay, we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponents, we have multiplication right here first division right here second and the third step this is our addition and to be honest at this point you can easily do this without any order of operation so well, when you choose a correct answer 12, you can easily be proud of yourself that you solved this question absolutely correct. When you choose correct answer 8, you need to review a little bit your basic math because this is we can't solve this question with the 8 as a correct answer. And of course, if you solve this question and said correct answer is 16, you need to review a little bit, a little bit your basic uh, your basic math. So it was my explanation to this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you mm, you learn something new. And of course, right now at this point, because we right now we solve it you can easily plug in this question on your calculator if you want it you can easily check this answer with me right now but try to plug in the whole question from left side to right side because you know sometimes happened that a lot of calculators works according to mm, the expression you type it at first okay so for example you want to like uh, calculate uh, for example let's let's uh, something like that so we have eight plus 2 divided by 5. So we have basic expression, but when you plug in 8 plus 2 at first, you know, some of those calculators say, okay, mister, right here we have, we have 10. 
but uh, you don't uh, further you have a division by two so as a result you have 10 uh, divided by 5 equal to equal to 2 but this is a wrong approach because division is all the time before addition so what do you need to do you need to plug in the whole question from left to right side and then you type enter so from here and until here and then your calculator may be thinking okay i have right here division i have right here addition but i know that division comes first from left to right and then division so we will have like a little bit different answer which is extremely important answer according to order of operation and according to math properties according to math laws which is extremely great nowadays so once more you can easily see the solution to this question few hints this is extremely important uh, part to our question because you can easily cancel this expression in the middle multiplication by four division by four and a correct answer is for our question correct answer is 12 according to PEMDAS you can see this explanation multiplication first then division then addition which is I hope you, you get the point I really hope you understand my explanation and if you do you can easily write or respond down into the comment section let you exchange information what do you think about this type of question what do you think about this type of uh, this type of solution it's really kind of you when you leave your response down into the comment section when you leave your your answer your comment it's really interesting to exchange information because I mean, a lot of a lot of people do this mistake and i really hope you get the point i really hope you understand how can we solve this correctly because there are a lot of ways how can we solve this question like addition first or like uh, division first but to be honest this is wrong to solve this question like that we need to solve it according to a correct answer in our question i use pemdas maybe you know you know about bodmas doesn't matter you can easily use uh, the order of operation you prefer this is up up to you and a correct answer to our question is 12 i really hope your answer is the same as mine i really hope you understand my explanation but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of like more than 300 videos for every day quick questions so we can easily and uh, of course your age doesn't matter right here because maybe you're a student you're you're a grown people you're like an adult you're like maybe 50 plus 40 plus doesn't matter i think mm, you can easily test this knowledge with me right now you can easily test your school knowledge which is extremely great nowadays like to relax a little bit and to remember a little bit about about school a little bit about school knowledge maybe you you enjoy it and i really uh, appreciate it so wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself also write your question down into the comment section write your notes about this question down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it so wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day see you in the next videos